This illustration deals with art rating. In accordance with 70E, Article 100, Informational Note 3. Now notice the purpose of change is a new Informational Note 3 to art rating and Article 100. The art rating now states that break open is a material response evidence by the formation uh, of one or more holes of a defined size, such as uh, 0.5 inches squared or an opening uh, of 1.0 inch and any dimensions in the innermost layer of the arc rating material that would allow thermal energy to pass through the material. In other words, the electrical arc with the energy that is produced would cause the uh, PPE uh, material uh, to break open and allow heat to penetrate uh, the body. Uh, this is something that they wanted to identify for you in the ARC rating in the Informational Note 3 in Article 100. Now notice uh, live energized parts at 50 volts or more and they're being placed in electrically safe work condition 130.1 of 70E on page 24. And notice the individual here uh, is wearing a sock hood and face shield in accordance with 130.7C10B1 on page uh, uh, 40 uh, of the uh, 70E document. Heavy duty gloves is also worn in accordance with 130.7C10D. And then notice the protective clothing and sock hood, if needed, would be worn as we just talked about in 130.710C, uh, right at the very top here. Now, the other thing that's important here is if the back of the worker's head is in the limited approach boundary, a sock hood or, or bellicolava must be worn as outlined in 70E, Table 130.5G, the B part below the table on page 29. Now, for examples of the likelihood of a occurrence of an arc flash incident for AC and DC, then naturally we would see uh, our Table 130.5C uh, on page uh, 27 also. Now, note one, when the employee is interacting with the equipment, there is a possibility of an arc flash occurring as outlined in Article 100, Informational Note 1 on page 10. But to interact, you're either testing in some manner uh, for voltage, current, and so forth, uh, or you're actually making some kind of repair to be considered interacting as defined and working on in Article 100 uh, of N NFPA 70E, excuse me. Now, uh, if all the covers are on and you're meeting the normal operation that you see here in 110.4D, uh, then you're not interacting with equipment in a way you're just passing through that arc flash boundary. You do not have to be wearing your PPE. And then, of course, an arc flash is not likely to occur when the equipment is properly maintained, as we find on page 15 of the 70E uh, standard. And, of course, we know that the manufacturer's instructions uh, give us information for maintaining equipment in a proper manner. If not, then we uh, would use a 70B as recommended by 200.1 informational note uh, in the 70E standard. Now, looking at this and summarizing, then you know you have a loop here. Uh, OSHA 1910 subpart S should be looked at concerning this matter. Uh, and the sections there would be 1910, 331 through 335. 
And then, of course, 70B is the maintenance standard. 70E is strictly a safety-related work practice standard that we should follow to protect the members of our body uh, when exposed to electrical arc condition by wearing the appropriate PPE. And our PPE material should not break open as outlined in the purpose of change here.